High school football is full swing on both sides of the state line. Kansas teams finally got to take the field this weekend. But we begin with our coverage on the Missouri side for our game of the week between Grandview and Green Valley. It is now time for the check presentation by High V's Marcy for the game of the week. Thank you. At High V, we take great pride in supporting our local high school, high school athletics. Tonight, it's my pleasure to present Grain Valley and Grandview High Schools with the Channel 9 High V Game of the Week. Congratulations. The Eagles got on the board first when quarterback Kalen Holland handed off to number 22, Zach Allen. He'll break loose for a run into the end zone, and Grain Valley takes a 7 to nothing lead. Still first quarter, the home team struck again. Handoff again to Aylin. He finds the hole, dodges and darts, heads to the sideline, and he will score. Grain Valley went on for two points. They took a 15 to nothing lead. As for the final score, take a look. Now let's go to Johnny Kane, also on the Missouri side. It's the Battle of Blue Springs, the Wildcats and Jaguars. In fact, Blue Springs High School had its 25-game win streak snap last week. First time since September of 2012, trying to bounce back in a big way against the Crosstown rivals. The Jags tied this game at 7, giving the home team some life. But back come the Wildcats. Kobe Bissell, the talented senior, coming at you. 17-yard touchdown run to put the visitors up by 7. Next Jag possession, quarterback Adam Cofield sacked by the big guy, Carlos Davis. He goes 6'3", 275. He'll play for the Cornhuskers next fall. Second quarter, Kobe Bissell has his number called again in a goal line situation. Blue Springs wins this rivalry, 31-21. Nick Atkins and the Race South Cardinals hosting Park Hill South. Trailing by a touchdown at the half, the Panthers make it a two-score deficit on this drive. Big play to keep it going from the senior quarterback. Schaefer shoots, elusive, getting up the field, takes it all the way down to the three-yard line. Later on the drive, it's Derek Cook, the senior running back, taking it up the middle. 28-14 at that point, but 46-36 Cardinals is the last score we heard in the fourth quarter. Also Belton at Park Hill tonight. The Trojans looking to improve to 3-0. First quarter action on second and 15. Tyler Holmes throws a 20-yard touchdown strike to his tight end, Kyle Francis. It was a one-sided affair in this one. Park Hill remains unbeaten, 49-13. On the Kansas side, it's Hayes at Olathe Northwest. The Ravens got on the board when Jack Hartsfeld connected with Adam Harter on this touchdown play at 7-6 Olathe. But Hayes took the lead for good late in the fourth quarter. Alex Delton called his own number, ran it in from one yard out for the touchdown. The extra point no good. Hayes went on to win it 12-10. Also in Olathe, Garden City at Olathe East. First quarter, Hawks going deep. Chase Miller to Zach Cahill. 71-yard scoring strike, a quick six. Olathe East took a 7-0 lead thanks to a late start. The game is in the third quarter, and the Hawks lead it 21-14. Shawnee Mission South taking on Shawnee Mission North after converting on a fourth and two play to keep the drive alive. Quarterback Matt Hollinsworth hits Dalton Llewellyn for a 34-yard touchdown strike. This was a lopsided game, folks. The final score, 41-12 Raiders. And Shawnee Mission East shut out Garden Edgerton 40 to nothing. And if you want to watch uh, this game in its entirety, we air it on our sister station, This TV, tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Now let's check out some of the other scores from around the Football Patrol.